there are many remakes to the song in Abhul. People have remade it numerous times. Nowhere has anyone credited Mr. Pratham Gaur with the lyrics. Nowhere. Singer and rapper Bacha spoke to Zoom exclusively and opened up about how the recent plagiarism controversy around his latest song Gainda Pool affected him. Whether he will actually never sing a remix song again and also share his views on the whole Masakali 2.0 controversy. Are you ready to go crazy? Baksha is one of the leading singers and performers in Bollywood who has created a revolution of rap and hip hop with his tremendous talent. It's hard to find a film these days that doesn't have a song by Baksha that is foot tapping and an instant hit. In addition to composing songs for films, Bacha also creates his own songs which he releases with a video, the latest being Gainda Pool featuring Jacqueline Fernandez. Bacha spoke to Zoom in an exclusive chat from his home in Chandigarh where he is spending time in lockdown with his family. There is absolutely no routine. I mean I wake up whenever I want to. I I go to sleep whenever I want to. I play Ludo. I play all these games. I've just started playing PUBG. Oh God, it's so addictive. And uh, I am cooking like anybody else is cooking right now. Like everyone else is cooking right now. And but you know, I live in Chandigarh, so I'm uh, fortunate enough to have a small lawn where you know we exercise in the evening. We play badminton. That's you know that's that's just the good thing. I think that that's that's a blessing. So yeah. Bacha whose real name is Aditya Pratik Singh Sisodia shared that while on one hand the song received tremendous popularity it also created a huge controversy because a media watchdog accused Bacha of stealing the song's original lyrics from a Bengali folk artist revealing that he was shattered and depressed by the vicious attacks on him that followed without anyone doing proper research There are many remakes to the song in the whole. People have remade it numerous times. Nowhere has anyone credited Mr. Pratham Gaur with the lyrics. Nowhere. The moment I make the song, suddenly I, you know, suddenly this information uh, is thrown at me. Ki aare ek Mr. Pratham Gaur hai, unka gana tumne chuda liya. Like, What? Who? I first of all, I don't know who this guy is. Before this song, I didn't know who this guy is. With all due respect, I'll tell you what an amazing guy is. I'll come to that later. But उसके बाद मुझे अरे मैं ये कौन है फिर मैंने कन्फर्म किया कि अरे ये फोक है ना यार दिस इज फॉर फ्री रिसर्च जितनी भी कॉपी राइट सोसाइटीज हैं सब जगह हमने रिसर्च कर लिया एंड देन ऑफकोर्स आई पुट दिस पोस्ट आउट कि भाई हमने रिसर्च किया हुआ है दिस इज अ फोक सॉन्ग किसी क्रेडिट किसी राइटर को क्रेडिट नहीं मिला हुआ है इसका आई जस्ट गॉट हर्ट सो आई वॉज लाइक आई यू नो आई रियली नीड टू रीच आउट टू आई डोंट नो वॉट इट इज नो मैटर इफ इट्स If it's not any, so I was I I went to the label. I was like, give those who credit, you know, maybe us time wo wo nahi kar paayenge. Us time societies nahi unko approach kar paayenge. But a lot of people believe that he sang, so why can't we credit it in his name? And then my label was also right. They were like, what if someone else kal aake bolte ki maine likha? What are you gonna do? There is no proof. He's he's someone who needs who should have been protected. You know, as soon as started. talking to him the first words he said thank you bacha because of you now finally people know me and uh, he was like please come and see me bacha clarified that it's a popular folk song which has been recreated multiple times but since he is perhaps the most high profile artist to have in technical terms sampled the track for gainda pool He was trolled and accused of being a thief. You know, there's a lot of difference between the recreation, yeah. remixing, and sampling. These are three technical, technically different terms. So, in in this song, I sample these two folk lines, and rest of it is quite original. Like quite original, as in rest of it is uh, an original body of work. Whatever, like to some people it's blah, to some people it's really great. But I just sampled those two lines and the two tara. it's called sampling it's i haven't gone and recreated the whole song or i haven't gone and remixed an original song right it's a sampling when asked about the controversy around masakali 2.0 
Bagshah said that while he hasn't seen the song, he is aware of the negative feedback the song received and all the memes that have been going around. I think it's all about perspective. If you like it, see, two things. The first thing is that if there is a hit in today's date or a flop, it's very difficult to know. So, I heard something that I heard about today. It was very good for me. If you like a song in today's date, then you will take it. This is for you. आपके लिए हिट है मैटर नहीं करता उसके व्यूज कितने हैं वो कितना कहाँ चला है दूसरी चीज आई थिंक सी कई चीजों में ना ट्रेंड आता है इस चीज का ट्रेंड है ठीक है अब ट्रेंड जब आते हैं तो कई चीजें उसमें अच्छी होती है और कई चीजें खराब होती है क्योंकि ट्रेंड ट्रेंड मतलब है कि यार ये ट्रेंड है हम ये करते हैं सेफ्टी में चलते हैं सो इट्स 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 ऑल अबाउट परस्पेक्टिव फॉर मी इफ अर यू मेक दिस डन राइट इफ आई लाइक इट आई लाइक इट इफ आई डोंट लाइक इट आई डोंट लाइक इट But then again, you know, it all boils down to the audience. अगर audience को पसंद नहीं आ रहा है, तो वो अच्छा नहीं है. But अगर audience को पसंद आ रहा है, then it's fine. As much swag as he displays on screen, Bacha is really simple and soft-spoken off screen, and a passionate artist who dreams of spreading music and love around the world. <laughs>